And the laundry family attorney says Brian left his home here without his phone or his wallet, and his folks are concerned that he might hurt himself. Today, the search continues in unforgiving terrain for Brian. We're looking through wooded areas. We're looking through bodies of water. We're looking through um, swampy areas, um, and we're deploying the resources to be able to do that. We have air units. We have drones. We have the swamp buggies, air boats, multiple law enforcement agencies. Brian reportedly went into the 25,000 acre Carlton Reserve last Tuesday, 75% of which is underwater. Conditions are challenging. It's hot and wet, not to mention finding food, water, and shelter. The expert we spoke with says if Brian is still out there, he's probably in a world of pain. Eight on your side is speaking with a self proclaimed outdoor expert who says he's been through survival school and he knows what Brian is up against is tough. I think by now, he would be in such discomfort, he would give himself up because he's gonna want food, he's gonna want shelter. I'd be surprised if he's there, and if so, I'd be surprised if he was alive. And here's a live look at some flowers and signs just outside the Laundry family home. Those signs of Gabby's face saying, I was once here. The search continues today for her fiance, Brian Laundry. Reporting live in Northport, Christine McClarty. Evan, back to you. All right, thank you so much, Christine.